Alright, um, welcome back students. So this is going to be um, Hinduism in ancient India. So we're going to be talking uh, about uh, the various um, ways in which um, Indians practice the religion of Hinduism. Okay. Um, so the first thing we need to understand, that verdict age, uh, when we talked about when those Aryans came in, leads to the foundations of Hinduism, okay? So again, Hinduism is unique in that it is a mixing of many different religions uh, into one, okay? And while you may think, well, a lot of other religions do that, yes, they do. Uh, but the unique thing about this is, more so than any other religion, is that there's like no one single person that they can say established Hinduism. Um, whereas with Christianity, you know, we can say you can trace it back to um, Jesus. With Islam, you can trace it back to Muhammad. With Judaism, you can trace it back to a tribe of um, Hebrew uh, descendants. You can trace it back to um, a Hebrew tribe. Okay? With Hinduism, we don't really know who came up with it. We just know that a large group of people are the ones that established it. So there is no one single founder uh, when we talk about Hinduism. All right, so Hinduism. Um, think of this as kind of like a web with Hinduism in the middle. And then the three blue points that we get to are going to be the bubbles off to the side of that. And then the white uh, is going to be the information off of those other bubbles. Okay, so we have three main points uh, that we want to get across here. Uh, the first is the history, a little bit, a little understanding of the history of Hinduism. Um, it's very complex. It's more than 3,500 years old. All right, and again, it absorbed beliefs from the other religions that existed in India at this time. Okay, um, it developed out of the Aryan beliefs that mixed with India's pre-existing cultures. Again, this mixing of ideas, cultures, okay, we're going to start to see this more and more as we move throughout the, this more and more as we move through the history of time. Okay, um, so what beliefs, uh, the biggest part of Hinduism, a belief in Hinduism, uh, is what happens to the body's soul, okay? So a person dies, but the soul is reincarnated in the body of another living thing based on the actions of that person. So what this means is if you are really great in your life and you do a lot of good deeds, then when you are died, when you die, your soul will be reincarnated in something better, okay? Um, like if you are an untouchable, you can move up the ladder. That's really the only way... You can move up social classes at this time, but physically you won't know that. Just your soul will move up, okay? However, if you do something bad, you can move down the ladder, okay? And their ultimate goal of Hinduism is to reach Brahman, okay? Or that enlightenment um, that um, all Hindus seek, okay? Um, so a person must obey his or her dharma, okay? Um, which is they want to become unified with the one spirit or, or that Brahman, okay? They want to be unified with them uh, and reach this enlightenment, okay? Um, you may also hear the term karma, okay? Karma goes along with dharma. Uh, you know, karma is, you know, if you do unto something, if you do something unto someone, if it's good, then expect something good in return. If it's bad, expect something bad in return, all right? And then some of the practices, okay? Yoga, uh, a lot of Hindus practice yoga. Now, the one that most of us know is the physical yoga, or where you do stretches and breathing exercises to help release energy um, and take care of your soul that way. However, there are other uh, sorry, there are other uh, there are other ways of practicing yoga as well. If you practice a selfless deed, so if you give, uh, for instance, if you give money to the poor, that is a selfless deed. Um, if you study the sacred writings of Hinduism, um, that is a practice of yoga. Okay, also honoring gods, uh, you know, just devote. Uh, there's a couple different ways that we talk about it. You know, devotion in a temple or devotion at home. Um, this is also a yoga as well. So yoga just isn't um, physical activity and breathing and stretches. It is much more than that. Uh, so again, devotion. Um, Hindus either worship 
in temples if there's a temple nearby um, or they also have a at home an altar so think you can almost think of it like um, a mantle on a fireplace kind of is where and is usually where you would see uh, an altar nowadays probably um, you know just kind of a, a, you know like this shrine um, given to just a specific god um, not all of them but just a specific god uh, and a lot of times Hindus would give um, will give food, gifts, and prayers um, at this altar to this god. So again, you know, um, a couple different ways of practicing Hinduism, but all of them are to reach um, the ultimate goal of making sure that your soul reaches the state of Brahman um, so that you can be, uh, go to, you know, a much happier place. All right. Um, if you have any questions, Please let me know. Make sure that you remember to fill out the summary uh, as you go along with this, and we'll look at that uh, when we get to class. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.